The Scarcity and Creativity Studio, which we run, of the Oslo School of Architecture, aims to combine the experience of practice in terms of design and build, while taking advantage of academia as a setting for research and experimentation. We take on architectural commissions from around the world, which we design and detail in Oslo, and travel to the site to build. This mode of teaching is feasible due to the Norwegian state funding, which covers student travel and accommodation. The project you see here is a tensile structure providing shelter for smokers at the Architectural Association in London. It stood up for two years and then it was taken down as it was only approved as a temporary structure. This and the next project are sited in Hacienda Quitralco in southern Chile, in the middle of the forest. The only way to reach the site is by boat, making logistics one of the main challenges. All materials had to be taken by boat, and the timber boards you see in these photographs had to be cut by us from fallen trees. The previous photograph is of a rain shelter, shelter we built at the boat landing. And this one is of a suspension bridge over a small river which floods every spring when the snow melts. The previous four bridges built by the locals had been washed away. The nested catenaries project was built by a PhD student who accompanied us on one of our trips. Her work departs from Gaudí's work and updates it using sophisticated mathematical and computer techniques. This project is in the foothills of the Himalayas. It is a shade and wind shelter for the students of a new university called University in the Sky, founded by the Z Corporation, owners of communication satellites which transmit Indian TV programs to around the world. The open city, Chile, is a site of architectural experimentation run by the School of Architecture in Valparaíso. Every year they add new buildings and installations to this growing town, which now has a cemetery, a church, a public square, teachers and students accommodation. Their architecture departs from a communal poetic act in which the users and students take part, and is followed by a process of documentation through sketching of the site and the activities that the building will house, slowly evolving into what they call la obra. Our studio was the first outsider to be asked to build facilities in the open city. Here you see an installation in which uh, students and visitors can cook and eat uh, in community. All our projects are worked through uh, investigations of structures, materials and site conditions. And here you see the, the wind studies uh, for the previous project that I just showed. <coughs> This is a, a bird watching in installation that overlooks a site where there are more than a hundred different species of birds. This project was built from one size board which is uh, rotated to create a curved surface that you see. This is a, another project in the same place which is an accommodation for visiting students and scholars where they can spend a few nights here, and it's covered by a bridge which is an observation uh, place from which you can see the Pacific and the spectacular sunsets. And now we go to the other side of the world. This is a village called Nusjur in uh, north of the Polar Circle, uh, which traditionally housed fishermen which came in the middle of the winter to fish for cod, and now houses tourists which come during three summer months. In this village, we built two structures. A tensegrity structure, which you see here being built uh, outside the <coughs> restaurant of uh, the village, and which delimits a, a, a place 
where you can sell alcohol uh, and uh, eat uh, outside. This is the finished structure. Unfortunately, the tables that were, uh, we were told were appropriate were not, and the, uh, the structure began to sink, and we received a desperate call one night in which the Queen of Norway was coming to visit, saying this will fall on her head, so it was taken down. <laughs> the other project we built there is a terrace that you see here, which contains a hot tub and a sauna. And it's like a, a blanket which has been wrapped over the stones. Uh, and it rationalizes the topography into this terrace. The terrace has, here you see the hot tub and the entrance on this side to the sauna, has a spectacular view over the fjord and looking at the Buddha Islands in the uh, horizon. <coughs> At present, we are going to build a community center in this town in Chile, which is called Pumanque. It is a very beautiful town whose streets were lined by these walkways that you see in the photograph to the left. But in 2010, there was a horrendous earthquake which demolished 80% of the town. So we are there to try to rebuild the town. These are all the people, thanks uh, to which we can do these projects that we do, and uh, on, the, on the right hand side you see the publications that feature our work, and we are always open to suggestions from anyone for new, we are looking for new projects. So, uh, out here after the, the presentation, do come and give us a good idea of what we will do next. Thank you. I'm told here that I have to ask for questions. <laughs> Any questions? Good. <laughs>